I'm Jeanette Bessinger, the Clean Food Coach, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chocolate antioxidant smoothie. Now, the problem with most smoothies is that they're very, very high in carbohydrates. People like to use a lot of fruit, and so it makes them very sweet, and so it gives you a strong blood sugar spike, and even if you use a little protein, that's not typically enough to bring the whole um, glycemic load down. So this is an example of a sweet tasting smoothie that's very high in nutrient impact with a lower glycemic load. So we will start with unsweetened chocolate almond milk. Now you can use anything you want as a base. I'll use about a cup. If you want, uh, this just has a very small amount of carbohydrates. If you wanted to uh, use something that was even lower in carbohydrates, you could use a green tea, or if you wanted it sweeter, you could even use a, a coconut water. Now I'm gonna use wild blueberries. These are organic, so they're very clean. Blueberries are very high in antioxidants. And they're also delicious and very low in sugar. Then we're going to add raw cacao powder. Cacao powder is also extremely high in antioxidants, especially uh, if it's untreated. The, uh, this uh, cacao is about a tablespoon or two, depending on how much chocolate you like. I like it really chocolatey. Now, if you add dairy to uh, cacao, it actually reduces the, uh, the antioxidant potency and so it's best to not use a true uh, a cow's milk in here and actually I'm not sure if uh, your protein powder needs to be uh, vegan as well but just to be on the safe side we're going to do that too. So I will add one tablespoon of this is the raw nibs so they've just been broken up this is the powdered form with the oil extracted this has some of the oil still intact and it gives it a little bit of crunch and also a little extra lift. And I'm going to be using a vegan protein powder, just one scoop. It's got about 20 grams of protein in it. It's, this actually is a chocolate flavor, but it has no added sweeteners or carbs. And then to give it a little bit of staying powder, I'm going to use some extra virgin coconut oil. So this will make it stick to your ribs a little bit. It'll also give it a little bit of smoothness. And coconut oil is very high in... Um, MCTs, and so this is a fat, even though it is a saturated fat, it has a neutral effect on your cholesterol, and it's very sustaining. Your body tends to use that for energy first rather than store it. This is soaked chia seeds. I use one quarter cup to one cup of water, stir it up, leave it for at least 20 minutes, and I keep this in the refrigerator for easy use. I'd like to use a full two tablespoons because I like my shakes thick. Now chia is going to give you another blast of great fat, it's got high in omega-3s, but it's also going to give you a little bit of um, fiber, which will also reduce the glycemic load. Now, these are all optional, what you want to do from here. This is a little bit of ginger. I'm going to give this a little bit of a spicy kick. It will make it seem more satisfying. So we use about a half of a teaspoon. You can use more if you like it warmer. I'm going to do the same thing with cinnamon. Cinnamon is also balancing for um, any of the sugars in the blueberries, so this will also reduce the glycemic load. Now, I like to use just a hint of cayenne. You need to be careful with this. <laughs> don't overdo it. Definitely don't measure it over the, <laughs> the thing because you can put in too much really easily. So I'll just use a little touch. Obviously, my hands are really clean. And then to sweeten it, if you like, you can use a pitted date, a medjool date works really well. You can use a, a chunk of frozen banana, which gives it an extra creaminess. But my favorite thing to use is actually a product made by New Naturals called Vanilla Stevia. So this particular brand of Vanilla Stevia, I think is superior taste-wise to the others. I just use a few drops. I don't need it too, too sweet. Stevia can have a strange and bitter aftertaste, but using the vanilla extract in it tends to mellow that, and this is a very high quality product. So we're gonna blend this for a couple of minutes until it's really smooth. I like to use uh, a high-powered blender, an industrial strength blender, so it can break up any seeds, it will break up the cacao nibs, and give you a really smooth consistency very quickly. Okay, here we go. And 
that's it. Let's try it. This model, my Vitamix, which I love, is 18 years old <laughs> and it still works beautifully. It's worth it to invest in high quality equipment. As you can see, it's a gorgeous, rich, purple, chocolatey color. Delicious. Enjoy.